let's talk about Detroit uh, Lions. They face a daunting task against the Green Bay Packers. Now, the question is, you know, Malik Willis and Jordan Love will start. Um, you know, that's a big, big question. Um, you know, they undefeated under Malik Willis. You know, um, so the Lions are having to prepare for both. And they're totally different quarterbacks. I mean, you know, most people in Lions Nation, you know, told us Malik was trash and we said they should take him in the first round. And, you know, with the Packers, you know, they just seem to be in a, you know, some type of bubble that's just, you know, quarterback friendly. I remember they traded for Brett Favre, I think, for a second round draft pick. Favre was on the Atlanta Falcons. They didn't value him. He came to Green Bay, you know, home from and all them, putting him into a system. He thrived. Aaron Rodgers, you know, come in the system, he thrives. Leaves the system, he don't thrive too much. So they, they've been a quarterback, you know, they've been a quarterback haven. Malik Willis, you know, in Tennessee, he don't succeed. They don't give him an opportunity. They saying that he, he hold the ball too long and, you know, he holds the ball too long and, you know, he won't pull the trigger. He go to Green Bay and they put him in a situation to be successful. So they both dangerous options. You know, Jordan Love has to burn injury for people who don't know. Don't know. Um, so that's the second lower body injury. You know, he moves around a little bit. He can run a lot more than he does. But it's preparing for two different quarterbacks. One thing about Malik Willis, he don't turn. He, he in Green Bay, he ain't turning that football over. And does that got something to do with the play calling? Absolutely. You know, he got something to do with, guess what? I'm auditioning for another team to get a big contract. There's a bunch of teams that can use a Malik Willis. And he came in in a matter of a couple of weeks, he was balling. That was one of the most underrated, you know, trades that, that's been made this year. Maybe the best. Without him, you know, they could have lost a couple games. But, you know, the read option, you know, the ability to get the ball out, his legs. The Lions have been struggling with, you know, backup mobile quarterbacks for years. Mobile quarterbacks in general, especially the backups too. Joe Webb came and ran all through us. Remember that? No deep, of course. You know, back in the day. So, really, you know, this is another, whether it's Malik or Jordan Love, this is a tough test. You know, if you got Jordan Love out there on the groin or with a groin injury, you know what I'm saying? Like, he can easily, you know, he can easily rip that motherfucker, whatever you do to it, where it could be a bad, bad injury. But, you know, him not being able to move and probably really step into the throw, he'd be hobbled. You know, Malik Willis, you know, functional legs. It's probably going to be a clear sky day. It's a big game. Lions historically struggle with, you know, um, mobile quarterbacks. They still ain't got no help at the defensive end. You're playing with a lot of immature um, defensive uh, players in the front seven. Rodrigo probably going to be out a little bit. So the, the Lions, you know, when you start talking about young players, then you start talking about gap integrity, gap discipline. That's what you're going to have to face when you face the Malik Willis. You know, because he started, if you got them young defensive ends and he started getting that that edge, that edge, that edge you know, he's going to run on you all day. So you probably looking more when you play Malik, you probably probably have more, more zone coverage. Even, you know, uh, you know, uh, Tyrion Arnold let that long run go with Aaron Jones in Minnesota. That was lack of, of, of gap discipline. So when you play somebody like Malik Willis, you you got to be gap disciplined, and he he's very dangerous for the Lions. They haven't went out there and got too many veteran defensive ends. They say they like their guys and all that. They said that when they ain't had no receivers, they like their receivers when they first got golf here in first game. So you know he can have a he can have an epically big day on the you know you know Fox's game of the week. And Tom Brady gonna be calling this game. So he he can have a very epic game. You know, so that's why it's important for them at least to get F.A. Melifano back. That's very important because he 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 he's one of their best defensive players overall because his versatility. He can guard the corner on the outside. He can guard the nickel. He can play safety. He's he's their best blitzer. He's their best blitzer. 
he's their best blitzer. So, yeah, it's, yeah, like I said before, Malik is, is dangerous. He may be more dangerous than, than Jordan Love on Sunday, and that's because Jordan Love is hobbled by a leg injury. You know, but one thing about Jordan Love, he turns the ball over. And that's one thing they haven't made the adjustment with Jordan Love is the turnovers. And if you're going to turn that ball over, you ain't going to go get too far. The more the upper echelon teams that you play, you're not going to get far turning that ball over. You're not going to get far. So, if you get Jordan Love in there, you get Jordan Love in there, the difference, the difference is he might turn it over. He can't be as mobile with the groin as much, you know, but he got a hell of fight arm. He got a hell of fight arm. That's what he do got. He got a hell of fight arm. You know, he can make throws that Malik Willis simply can't make. So he can make throws that Malik Willis simply can't make. So that that's that's really that's really that's really the topic of conversation. He can make throws that Malik Willis can't make. You know. So uh he dangerous too because he he can slang it and they got all them different weapons on the outside and 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 how do you play him? But one thing about it, he gonna give you he gonna give you the ball. He gonna give you that ball. You know, he he just throwing picks. He throwing a lot of touchdowns. But guess what? You know, when you get them turnovers. You gotta turn them into opportunities. They let him throw the football and be a gunslinger, like you know, like Brett Favre was. But when you play Malik, they play they play everybody play a little bit more. Like you know, they play a little bit. It's like Jordan Love is the substitute teacher. You know, you can be a little bit freer, looser, try some stuff, you know, because you know he got the talent to get you out of it. But when Malik Willis in there, when Malik in there, it's different because it's different because with Malik being in there, you don't really have the margin for error. Yeah, you don't have it. You, I'm about to say, I thought I forgot my wallet. I'm about to be mad. You don't really have a, the margin for error like that. So... Yep, the margin of error is is is, is very very uh is very very slim to none, man. So, but you know, I think they both dangerous um, come Sunday. But I think depending on how bad they're growing, Malik may be a little bit more dangerous. Defense gonna play a little harder. They gonna run the try to run the football and kind of with them defensive ends out there. You know, he's gonna challenge that edge and he's gonna challenge that young front seven. You know, they got a bunch of injuries with his leg, so. I think he might be a little bit dangerous, so it's more dangerous just because Jordan Love injured. But um, check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all the notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop video. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.